sign that Lebanon has defaulted on its sovereign debt. So that's a huge step. Uh, it's a very, very significant move, even though, of course, we were expecting it in the last few hours. Uh, the Prime Minister saying, as you mentioned, that uh, th the interest uh, on this enormous debt is no longer payable. It, uh, Lebanon simply doesn't have the funds to continue paying off uh, this debt. Uh, and he mentioned, of course, a lot about uh, the suffering of the Lebanese people uh, and the World Bank estimates that 40 percent of the population could end up living under the poverty line in the future. So the way he was couching this was, I'm sort of doing this for you, for the people of Lebanon. Uh, whether that has any re resonance among Lebanese people, I think, is a very moot point, because obviously what they see is uh, corrupt and nepotistic elites, uh, and they've basically Basically, a lot of them have given up on hopes of any profound change, any profound economic reforms that will really better their everyday lives. But certainly the Prime Minister was playing this as, uh, you know, I'm forced to do this because of uh, the behaviour, the profligacy, essentially, of previous administrations. You know, they uh, kind of artificially uh, kept things inflated, but actually uh, without addressing the deep structural problems. Now, maybe he's got a point, but as far as international creditors are concerned, that's not an argument that they can possibly take into account. Are they going to suddenly say, oh, OK, it was all the fault of previous administrations. In that case, we'll give you restructuring on your terms. No, they're not going to do that. The question now is what happens in the next couple of days, Nadia, because, of course, Lebanon was due to make this payment on March the 9th. The Lebanese prime minister now has left this very narrow window. What is it? Uh, 48 hours, even less, for the government and the international creditors to come up with some kind of solution that would perhaps at least see an orderly default, because a disorderly default, if they don't come to an agreement, could be even worse.